brethren out there, the following video is about a certain important topic in biology. Categorically, particularly for today, we are going to talk about biology paper 2 in preparation for the internal exam which is just a week away. Join me as I share with you how best we are going to discuss and be able to explain everything in detail that can be involved if we are to relate our understanding talking about endocrine plants. So this question comes from homeostasis. It can also be linked to endocrine system because we put the glands that are from homeostasis or under certain organs which can be able to be involved in a certain like maybe plant. So figure 2.1 and 2.2 show endocrine glands labeled P and Q respectively. So we have gland P. This gland P cannot be clearly identified if we can't identify this organ which is linked to gland P. Then we also have that is the area which is the exact type of an organ inside the body which should help us identify gland Q. So in this case, we are going to find that this gland P is a, on top of this bean-shaped organ. This bean-shaped organ is called a kidney. If this is the kidney, we are going to find that this gland is responsible for secreting an hormone called adrenaline. Adrenaline is a hormone produced from the glands that are positioned above the kidney. Hence, the gland labeled P is called adrenal gland. Then, particularly relating the same information to the area and on top of it we have that is gland Q. We are going to find that this is the ilium. The ilium is part of the small intestine. So this means gland Q is situated above the small intestine. The small intestine is divided into the ilium, the jejunum, and the duodenum. Now in this case, this gland is going to be a double gland because it can secrete enzymes and also it can secrete hormones at the same time. Hence, this gland Q is going to be called the pancreas. So in this case, we have the blood vessels, meaning these can be the renal vein or the renal artery. Then we have the ureta linking to the urinary bladder. Then we have the ilium and linking to the colon. So A, Roman number one, identify the endocrine glands P and Q. Remember, I said it's much more important to understand the organs that are linked to these glands in terms of their position. In our first place, we said gland P is the adrenal gland because this is the kidney. This is the kidney. And now we are able to identify that this is the kidney. It was because we saw the ureta and the blood vessels. So this is the kidney and above the kidney, there is a positioned gland P called adrenal gland. So in this case, our answer for gland P, we're going to say adrenal gland, adrenal gland. Then gland Q, gland Q is situated or positioned above the ileum. The ileum is part of the small intestine, meaning the only gland that is situated or positioned in the, or maybe closer to the alimentary canal, this is going to be called the pancreas. So, gland Q is going to be called the pancreas. Then, there follows question A, Roman number 2. Step 1 hormone produced by each gland. A gland is an organ inside the body liable to producing or secreting hormones or enzymes at the same time. By the way, an enzyme is a biological catalyst which is important in nature. Then, a hormone is a chemical substance produced by ductless glands transported by blood to all the targeted organs. So here, step one hormone produced by each gland. Hormone produced by gland P. We are in reference to the first stated answers. So gland P is adrenal gland. From the adrenal glands, we are going to find the secretion of a special hormone called adrenaline. So our answer on the first part, we're going to say adrenaline hormone. In biology, it is also very vital to bring your realization that spellings play a vital role in terms of marking. 
Then, hormone produced by gland Q. Like in this case, if this is the pancreas, we are going to find that the pancreas can be able to contain a pancreatic juice. Inside the pancreatic juice, inside the pancreas, we are going to find the digestive enzymes such as lipase, pancreatic amylase, as well as trypsin. But now, we are not talking about enzymes. Instead, we are talking about hormones. So if we are trying talking about hormones, we are going to find that the pancreas is responsible to contain two types of cells. There is the beta cell and the alpha cells. The beta cells can be able to secrete a hormone called insulin. Then the alpha cells can be able to secrete a hormone called glucagon. In this case, hormone produced by gland Q will just depend on whatsoever can come first in our mind, but between insulin and glucagon. So henceforth, our answer is going to be insulin. So this is how best we can try talking about this. So when we talk about endocrine system, we are trying to talk about hormones, which I defined as a hormone is a chemical substance produced by a ductless gland transported by blood to the targeted organs. There are many types of glands in the body, but the glands that we had in our question were gland B. Gland B was positioned above the kidneys, hence we called it adrenal gland. Then gland Q was positioned above the ilia, bringing the understanding that this is positioned above the small intestine. Hence, we call this one as the pancreas. Then there are forward a question talking about the particular type of hormone secreted from each gland. In this case, we're going to find that gland B being the adrenal gland will secrete adrenaline hormone. Then gland Q will secrete, that is, the insulin hormone. The insulin will be able to convert excess glucose into stored glycogen. Then the adrenaline will be able to ensure that it accelerates the conversion of glycogen back to glucose. So at this particular moment in time, if a week ago before the final exam, the relevant factors are believing in yourself, always ensuring that you invest your, your time and yourself in terms of proper practice to clean self reliance. And ensure that you are the only person who is being able to decide how best you would want things to flow out. From this very moment up until next time, for this time, it's a good time.